<laughs> so there's a random golden retriever that just like wanders my neighborhood all of the time. And I was just outside in the pouring rain, taking stuff out of the car and he comes up and he's sopping wet and I'm like, go get your stick. And he's looking around frantically because he's a golden, right? That's what they do. They just fetch sticks. That's their like whole brain. And he's looking around and he takes off. So I'm like, cool, you're going home, whatever. And he comes back with a stick that he's found. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even mad. That's impressive. He brought me a log to play fetch and now my arms hurt. And uh, dogs actually do, interestingly, have something to do with today's pour. But before I talk about it, hello, I'm Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. I'm all slimy now. I'm. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things, and you are here for day 226 of 365 days of soap. And yeah, we are making a dog-themed soap today, but specifically, we are making a soap Disney-inspired for 101 Dalmatians. And so not a golden retriever, but that golden was amazing. I. My dogs don't do that. Do your dogs just like fetch? I throw sticks at my for my dogs and they just look at me like, what do you want me to do with that? Where's my food? But they're all like mastiffs and bulldogs and so they don't. Lazy, yeah. 101 Dalmatians. Yes, Dalmatians, not lazy. And this soap is actually very cool. So this one was actually designed by Soap and Play Kid at number two, who did not want to come on and be the do the thing on camera today. And I'm like, cool, that's fine, do your thing. But we are going to talk about her design while Georgia May makes it. So I'm going to stop talking about it here and we're going to go there. So if there are 101 Dalmatians, right? Why do we only know the names of like seven of them? I think it's like seven, right? It's There's Pongo and Perdita, right? And then you have... Lucky, Raleigh, Patch, Penny, Pepper, and Freckles. How many is that? Like eight? 101 Dalmatians. And Perdita gave birth to 15 dogs, which is actually a crazy thing. Like, that's a thing. I was shocked at how big litters are for large breed dogs. It's super crazy because that's a lot of, that's a lot of puppies. And that's just a lot in general. And we only know the name, the names of eight of them. Like, obviously, you don't name all 101, right? But how about the 15 kids that Perdita originally gave birth to? That's what... I am flummoxed. Like, I would like to know those names. So we could have 17 of the 101 names. We're making a 101 Dalmatian soap today, just in case you were you were wondering. And did you see the uh, oil blend at the beginning and how it seemed very cloudy? That is because George May is using the big bubble blend and really that's because that's all that we have in the shop right now. It's time to master batch again. And um, she's soaping it very cool, which means that she's running the risk of her uh, oils, her soap batter thickening up pretty quickly for like, you know, a false trace or whatever you want to call it. I don't like that term, but it's one that's understood. Mm -hmm. 
So we will watch this batter as she's doing her thing to see if it thickens up at all because that did start out pretty cloudy. It suggested that there are some solid oils in there that are starting to re-solidify. But you see the things on the, the side there, the, the black thing and the maroon thing? George May is putting some embeds in. Now, this 101 Dalmatian soap, it was actually requested by the Soap and Clay Kidlets, specifically by the by Soap and Clay Kidlet number one, because her birthday's in a few days, and she wanted me to make a Corella DeVille soap, and she designed it. And Soap and Clay Kidlet number two, not to be outdone by her sister, and she is a lover of puppies, she designed this soap. So Georgia May is actually going off of the design that Soap and Clay Kidlet number two gave her for this soap, and she's doing patch from 101 Dalmatians. And so very, very patchy and very Dalmatian-y and spot-y. And it is legitimately fitting with the design of the bar and the picture that was given to George May for this pour, which is really cool. And I will be doing the same thing for the Cruella de Vil soap as well. And I think that that's super fun because if we're going to continue making like Disney themed soaps and stuff, I would like to involve the soap and play kidlets as often as possible because kids have the coolest minds and they see things in ways that we sort of take for granted because, you know, we're older and, you know, whatever. And so, yeah, when there's a, a Disney character that they're super into, I'm, I'm asking them their opinion. What should it smell like? What should it look like? And they always, always end up going to, you know, markers and paper to draw it all out and design it, which is awesome. And so that's what we are working on today. And I did leave this in here just because I want to show you Georgia May's thinking hands. She's just, what comes next? Okay, let's move on. And I love that because that is in every edit that I do for Georgia May soaps when she's making something for the first time. And I think that that is really super funny and awesome. And you can see her thinking through her hands. And I love that. So yes, uh, Soap and Clay number two, super into puppies, super duper into puppies in general and so she loves 101 Dalmatians and again Patch her favorite puppy because the Dalmatian's name is Patch and she finds that really very funny and I agree like that's that is funny because they all of them are all patchy they're, they're spotty I mean it would be maybe even funnier if they were named Spot if one of them was named Spot because that's your I bet there are a lot of Dalmatians in the world that are named Spot. Like, tell me in the comments if you know someone who has a Dalmatian named Spot. Because like, I have Great Danes, I have Danifs, and I know way too many people who have named their Great Dane Hamlet. Which is clever, until nine million people have done it. But I, I bet there are a lot of Dalmatians out there with the name Spot, because that's funny and all the things so yes they are uh, this is all modeled after patch because he's he's patchy and so kill at number two is six and she draws in a very cool and unique style as does so quick kill at number one and so I thought it'd be fun to do more of like an abstract type pour really modeling the soaps after the design and the images and the things that they see in their mind when they do the yes so that's what George May is doing right now and it might actually be I'm sure she's digging it actually I was about to say it might actually be hurting her to be doing this because it's not high art but she loves kids and she loves my kids specifically like I mean she loves kids in general but my kids she really loves and so it, I'm sure she's not looking at this and going, well, I mean, that could be better art because they're children. So whatever, she's doing the thing. And her batter has actually stayed really fluid throughout all this. I actually cut it out, but she took a stick blender to both of these sections 
to help out, I'm sure, with the, the Dalmatian spots and the layering of the soaps. So that image that we saw in the very beginning of the cloudy oils, it's not, she's not soaping too cool or it's not impacting her, you know, her, her soaping process if she is soaping too cool. So that's good. And way to go, Georgia May. I love that. Now the black thing that she put in there, I'm guessing is going to be the nose of the puppy because I've seen the, the drawing. And then the maroon crimsony thing is going to be the puppy's wet nose. So we recently got a new puppy and uh, she's adorable. She's a neo -Danif. And Addison, Soap and Clay Killet number two, has been completely obsessed with the puppy's wet nose. So she is always checking her nose. And if it's dry, or she thinks it's dry, Mom, we gotta get her something to drink. Oh my gosh, because she has a dry nose. And so that's like her new obsession. And so 9,000 times a day, she's like feeling the puppy's nose, which I get like when I had new babies, especially with Silicon Clay number one, when you're a first time mom, I was constantly like feeling her chest just to make sure she was still breathing because she would sleep really hard. So it's adorable. And so I, I love that she made sure to put in the nose and she actually told me when she made the, the drawing, this is a wet nose, mom. Cool, of course it's a wet nose. That means it's a nice healthy puppy. Hooray. It's been, it's been a lot of fun having the, the new puppy with the kiddos and it's a, uh, I don't know. It's it's a new puppy, so it's like having a new kid. But they're both at the age where they can actually help out with the puppy, so that's been a lot of fun for me. And because the last time we got a puppy, it was Penny, and they were not helping with that. And so I was up again at like 2 o'clock in the morning doing the, you know, gotta go out and pee things. But it was actually worse than having a newborn for, you know, those two weeks when they because they advance very quickly, dogs do. But it was actually worse than having a newborn because you have to go outside and that's not fun. But aside from the middle of the night potty breaks, the girls have been so good with the puppy and helping out with all of the other things. And I think that's really why when I asked Soap and Clay Kidlet number two, what, or number one, what she wanted to do for her birthday for soap, she selected well, she selected Corella DeVille, which I thought was actually really cool. That made me super happy. And when I asked her why she selected Corella DeVille, she said, well, because of Descendants, Mom. Because Carlos in Descendants is Corella DeVille's son, and it's amazing. And he passed away, like, right before the Descendants 3 movie came out. It was very sad. It was so terrible. And she found out about that. So I think she's very, very obsessed with... I mean, she is very obsessed with Descendants right now, but she's specifically very obsessed with the Cruella de Vil-like line. And so that's why she did that. And Addison just likes puppies. Soap and Clay Killet number two. So as soon as Soap and Clay Killet number one said Cruella de Vil, Scout was like, hey, can I? I'm designing the dog. I, I get to do the dog. And so this is her dog, Soap. And it's very exciting. And I really... I'm looking forward to this cut because there are some very cool layers going on with all of this and different spacing of the the whites and the blacks and all the things and it's gonna be fun like this is a really cool design that we are working off of with Scout's picture and it's I mean George May can you know do a variation on any theme so it will be dead on I'm sure and I got to get a picture of the of the original thing up here because you should see it for a frame of reference and see where that all if George May did a good job really and I will put one up probably in the cut and she is going to you know do pretties on the top and I love that oh gosh I could watch the tops of soaps being made all pretty and decorative forever, for hours. That's like the soap ASMR thing, which is like soap cutting for the most part, like shaving soap and cutting them into where That's all cool, but for me, it's all about the top and making it 
really beautiful and really finishing off the bars. I could, I could watch that forever. Oh, she's doing cool, cool little curly cues on that. That's awesome. See now, Georgia May is a righty, and so her hand is sort of in the way of the actual moving of things. And you just have to, you know, imagine. Look, you see the movements of her hand, and it's doing curly cues. See? That's super cute. I love that. That's such a nice top touch to the top of those these bars. That is adorable. Now, I don't know if she's putting this in the oven to see pop or not, because she does have those embeds in there that are made out of melt and pour. And she did the same thing for the nose that she did kind of with the bird, but she just put it in upside down for the bird in flight. And so I still haven't figured out how she did that. I'm going to have to ask her about that so we can figure out, you know, how she did her magic embed. But let's go check out the cut. So full disclosure, I had to stage this because I cut this off camera. I didn't know what it was. I actually thought it was a different soap that we keep in our line. And so I restaged it so you didn't get to actually see the pulling of the thing down and the cutting of the whatever. But that is so super cute. And oh, come on, that's adorable. And look, that looks like a little tail on the back. That's so cute. And that, yeah, so that super matches Scout's abstract puppy picture so much she because she's six and she draws things in you know the eyes aren't perfectly cement she draws things perfectly and George May captured the essence of the Dalmatian soap that Scout designed perfectly and so I love this we have we have an abstract uh, 101 Dalmatian soap going on here and it's so good it's beautiful that is a uh, day 200 and 26 the 101 Dalmatian soap specifically patch and it's so cute Georgia May totally nailed that like it's such a beautiful bar of soap perfectly modeled after soap and clay kidlet number two's drawing which is awesome whenever I can bring the soap and clay kidlets into the process and you know have their soapy ideas come to life we totally do that I mean I'm also the mom who lets them make cold process soap so it's all a family thing. If you are interested in the 101 Dalmatian soap, the patch soap, you can totally find it on the website at soapandclay.com. If you're interested in following me on social media, I am there, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And if you're interested in more soapy antics and seeing if we do anything like to pair with this bar, you should subscribe. You can click the button. And I'm gonna say button because one of the channels that I follow actually, he always over enunciates button and it's super annoying. So yeah, click the button, hit subscribe, and you can totally be a part of, you know, the Sudzer family. For those of you who are a part of the Sudzer family, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you every day. Thank you for being here for another round of 365 days of soap. I am out of here for today. I'm going to go see if that golden has made his way home yet. And if not, I'm going to go drive him home because it's pouring out. And I will see you guys all again tomorrow. Bye.